Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Skyrim Mod Spotlight number three. And today we have a very special mod called Better Than Real Depth of Field, also known Tilt Shift for any E and B. And how you can tell from the title, this is a depth of field effect that should work with every E and B out there. It is just one file and it replaces the E and B effect pre pass of your E and B or yeah, your E and B, that's right. And because it's hard to describe what exactly the special depth of field is, so I'm gonna do it later on. I'm gonna read the description here shortly. It's hard to describe how this effect mod feels in game. This is a try to take the perspective to a new level of realism, or at least poor fascination. The combination of blurriness and sharp focus creates an imagination of a fake 3D, like a miniature model. But this time you're a mid. And I need to say that what you see here is the effect, um, but it is really hard to get the perfect effect to really make stuff look like a, like it would be a miniature model. You have to use that for screenshots in the first place and it's not optimized for third person view right now, just for first person, uh, but that will be fixed when this modder is at home again. The effect itself is pretty complicated, for example, if you just stand there and you look in the distance, you have a depth of field over the whole screen very very slightly so that you just don't see sharp edges of your yeah ma models of the pixels in the distance so it's very slightly when you look at stuff then you have a little focus point that is the sharpest point in the wall picture and that is the middle of your screen and this is more noticeable the closer the actual position is to your character. So if it's far away you almost don't see it and if it's closer you can see the sharp point at the floor and the blurry stuff around it. Also the blurriness is spread over the whole screen. It is not like there's an area that has the same depth of field. It's, it's really really yeah. spread. And uh, when you're looking well, at people time. and near objects then you have a very heavy blur around it. And the thing is also, when you're for example pretty close to the floor, to the ground, then at uh, very close to you, objects will be sharp, then they get blurred out. And the middle point, the center of your screen, will be focused again, a sharp, sharp place. And this is a really, really interesting effect and very good for screenshots. You see here all the video content I recorded a lot but it's hard to tell from all these videos, especially like here in Solitude. Um, it's not very good to see. You see it every time when the camera gets closer to an object, because when it's far away, then there's obviously not really a depth of field and the effect is very, very weak. But when this is uh, like here, for example, when we get to that roof, then the effect will kick in and it's, it's really nice. This is the depth of field effect that I will use now for my ENB. Pretty perfect. I wanted another depth of field for my ENB and I never knew how to change it actually. So it's uh, just replacing the ENB effect prepass I guess with uh, the one of another mod. Seems to work for this part here and yeah I really like it. It seems to be a lot of work. The modder said that it just got possible with the latest version of Matsu's ENB that he was able to implement this effect. He tried it earlier with uh, yeah, earlier ENB versions and stuff. Here in Windhelm you will see pretty good how this effect really works. And then we have also a tour through Wide Run and some first person action. Here you can see how this behaves if you really are about to run around and to fight in combat and so on then it might be handy to have a, a key like the there is a program called ENB DOF SSAO Toggler I think and then I always just 
push to 5 and backspace and I turn the depth of field off. That's sometimes very good if it starts to hurt somehow because it's really a depth of field that is made for pictures and for movies and here you can see pretty pretty good how the focus works of the depth of field. Yeah, we will take it to a true white run and there you will see that sometimes it's it's really for first person running around sometimes too heavy or for fighting and can look a little bit confusing but overall I'm gonna use this now and it will be a standard of my whole graphic setup I think everybody who doesn't use an ENB or a depth of field still enjoys this video because it just looks totally awesome the whole graphics and it runs fluent at pretty pretty damn amazing but however I'm gonna leave you alone now with the rest of the video we will see us later some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Only if I can help. 
but damn if I ain't almost sober. Hey, in the Bannered Mare, there's this bottle of Argonian ale. The good stuff. Get it for me. <laughs> Honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. It's a ah! Here we go. 